Hey, this is Dan again with Puts Ponds and Gardens. I came back down to Grosio, Michigan because all the leaves are starting to fall and we wanted to get that uh, pond that we just recently built uh, for the homeowners, Dennis and Anna. We wanted to get that netted for them so that eases their maintenance for the fall time and they can enjoy their pond instead of being a slave to having to em empty out the skimmer multiple times a day. The leaves, instead of falling down into the pond and then getting sucked into that skimmer, now we're going to have a net on top of it. By doing that, it reduces their, um, their fall maintenance and also it reduces their spring maintenance as well. Typically what happens is when leaves fall down um, from the trees into the pond, they'll float for maybe about six, eight hours, get saturated with water, and then they sink down to the bottom. So ponds are not 100% perfect to where, yes, we have a skimmer for mechanical filtration, but when the uh, leaves get hung up on either lily pads or on rocks, what happens is they get saturated, sink down to the bottom, and they start breaking down in about three, maybe four months, and then they turn into muck. When they don't break down by springtime, it's just that much more work come springtime to have to uh, clean those out. We want to make sure that uh, we've got a net on the pond. We try to ease our uh, clients' maintenance for their pond so they can just sit back, kind of enjoy it. Because that's what fall is all about. You want to enjoy your pond, enjoy the cooler temperatures, the color changes in the leaves, and go get some apple cider and donuts. So let's go in the backyard and we'll show you um, how we're going to net this pond. All right, so we're going to net this pond here in Gross Hill, Michigan. I wanted to show you guys how we go about doing um, our netting for ponds. Obviously the backyard is loaded with leaves right now. We just don't want them in our pond. So that way the homeowner has to be a slave to emptying out his skimmer all the time. We bring the net right to the front of the skimmer so he, he does still have access to the pump and the basket. So what Brian's doing is he's going to uh, put a stake down in the ground over there and then there's going to be another stake down here on this end. We're going to put a, a rope from one end to the next. We're going to take our netting and drape it over and then tack it all the way around. So let's show you how that happens. So once the poles are in and the string is, the rope is going across, so what they're doing is they're anchoring them down on the corners and then you work all the way around from one side to the next and that way you get uh, everything nice and tight. It's not that you don't get any leaves that get hung up on the, the net itself, it's that we just don't want them down into the pond. That's the ultimate goal. Less maintenance for the homeowner. They could still view their pond during the fall months when the, uh, the leaves are falling down. Simple uh, system, not overly complicated or anything and once all these leaves are down and the leaves are cleaned up in the backyard it's time to pull that net enjoy your pond for the rest of the season you can see with this rope here that's holding it up in the center and it just tapers down brian's on one end he's stapling the net with just wire staples that's all it is occasionally you'll have some soft ground so we have to go to very large staples like maybe tent staples uh, these are ones we picked up at Harbor Freight, ground's like sand. inexpensive. Uh, like Brian just mentioned, the ground's like sand, so these small ones, they'll just want to pop right back out. We don't always have to use the big ones. Since this project was just installed, this ground is very fresh and loose. So um, over here, these little staples work great, but sometimes we've got to use the big staples. What he's doing is he's rolling that netting. By rolling it, it's making it very nice and tight, but when he puts the staple through, it's not just going through one layer, it's going through several layers. You can look up close. He's got staples every eight, 10 inches. That way, 
no birds can get underneath this as well. So I'm standing right here with my back against their door wall. This is their view in the fall with the netting on. It's not really that obtrusive, so don't think of netting as something that's just totally ugly around your pond. Think of it as reducing your maintenance. All right, so there's the netting job done. You can see it's already working. So we got some leaves already on the net. Simple. Just one pinch point right in the middle. That's all you need. If you do more than one, one uh, rope, you'll get a sway in the middle. You'll get leaves that get saturated. Not saturated, but you get leaves that get hung up in the middle and you can't blow them off the, off the netting. So that's it. So what Zach did is he secured the netting around the stake with some zip ties. One way of doing it. And you want to make sure you do your stream as well as your pond. So that way you can uh, keep the leaves out of the stream as well. So if the leaves do hit the stream, you know they're going to come down, float down stream. They're going to get hung up there if you end up securing your net to stop. And then you're going to have a leak because the leaves are end up clogging up your stream. Um, so do the pond and the stream as well. All right, those are our tips for how to net a pond. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and like our channel. So that way you can get future puts pointers on how to take care of your pond. Make it a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. So this is another way you can net your pond. What we did is we used a high point right here for the netting, anchored it with some um, flagstone, and then we always leave the skimmer lid. We put the net right in front of that, so that way we can still access that and put in our uh, cold water treatment in the fall. But as you can see, the leaves are on top of the net. They're not weighting the net down. I can easily come in here with the blower and just blow the leaves back down this way. I can also clean up the leaves that are in the backyard and not have to worry about getting my pond net out to scoop the leaves out every five seconds because it is fall and they're going to continue to fall i just don't want them down here in the bottom of the pond all winter long so when those rot out that's more work for me in the in the springtime when i have to do a pond clean out i get the blower out blow some of these leaves off the top and i'll be done That's how it's done. Now that I've scared the fish back into their fish cave, I can go and watch some college football on this Saturday morning. So wouldn't you rather wouldn't you rather be able to have time on your hands, especially on the weekend, instead of having to pull leaves out of your pond? Net your pond, save yourself a lot of maintenance in the future. Have a great day.